Good afternoon and welcome to the University of Birmingham Open Day. My name is Ben Goodwin and that sound behind you is the dulcet tones of Old Joe, the world's tallest freestanding clock tower. That's a fact for you, you can keep that one. Um, I was a student here myself many years ago. Um, I did an, uh, a BA in history here um, and my first experience at the University of Birmingham was on an open date just like today. So I've come back today giving a little bit back uh, to people uh, like yourself who are considering where to go to university and we're going to have a little talk about what it's like uh, to study and live here at the University of Birmingham. Now you're probably aware by now but we're running live online activity throughout the day across our virtual tour site. Uh, we've got live streaming right here from Central Campus and later on this afternoon we'll be back on the Vale where we'll be looking at student accommodation. Um, you can also view live tweets and Instagram photos on our interactive map and you'll see them come drop down as they come through. So the University of Birmingham, well we've got 28,000 students here studying on some 350 courses. We've recently been ranked 15th by the Guardian's University Guide for 2014 and last year 87% of our graduates were in graduate level jobs within six months of graduating. That is higher than Oxford, Warwick and Durham. Birmingham Student Satisfaction Score was 88% in the 2012 National Student Survey, again significantly above the national uh, average. All of this takes place on our beautiful 250 acre campus, which you can see a little bit of behind me here today. Now it's alright about me waffling on giving you all these stats, which are all well and good, but what you really want to hear from is a current student who's here studying at the university. So I'd like to welcome my special guest. And that would be Gemma. Gemma, thank you for joining us. Can you confirm that you're a bona fide student here at the university? Yes, I am. I'm in my second year of psychology. You're studying psychology. Yeah. And um, wh why did you choose Birmingham? Um, when I was first looking at universities, I looked at league tables like the ones you mentioned and obviously Birmingham is in the top 20. And then I came to an open day like today and I was just really won over by the campus. So you came to um, the open day. Um, what were your first impressions of the university? I was really sort of shocked by how green it was considering it's so close to sort of the centre of Birmingham. And um, so you've now been uh, studying psychology for, you're at the end of your second year. Um, how have you been finding the course? What, you know, what, what kind of things do you enjoy most about your course? Um, I really enjoy the course. It's, it's a lot more variety than A-level. I did A-level psychology and you only do a couple of modules. Then when you come to university you get all sorts of different diverse modules. And um, third year we get to do our own research project which is supervised by someone in the department so that would be really good. So what are you going to pick for your, um, your, your, your third year project? I'm doing language acquisition in children which is something I'm really interested in because I want to go on to study speech and language therapy so it will be really relevant for that. So that's really interesting, essentially something that you're going to do for, you know, for your, your third year project will actually go on to help further researchers and indeed like normal people. So that must be really inspiring. Yeah, it is. Our whole department is conducting, it's really good for research. It's one of the top five for research, Birmingham Psychology Department, and they're conducting cha life-changing research all the time. Fantastic. And I, I don't know if you can describe a typical day, but try because I'd, I'd really like to know you know what you get up to on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, well my course doesn't have as many contact hours as Tom who did physics and mentioned earlier. We have about 12 contact hours a week so that works out as a couple a day and there'll tend to be big breaks so you'll come onto campus go to a lecture then you'll have some independent study time sort of in between which I like to go to our library for but some people go home there's lots of other study spaces on campus then after that in the evening sort of I'll get my work done in the day then in the evening relax go out maybe. And um, and so, so you live in Sally Oak now. Yeah. Um, but in the first year, you lived in Halls. Yeah. Is that correct? So just tell us a little bit about that. Um, I lived in Pritchett's Park in Ashcroft there, and Pritchett's Park is smaller than the Vale, but it's a lot closer to campus, which was good for me. A lot closer to the train station and everything. And I really enjoyed my time in Halls. Our Halls had a really community feel. We were very close as a block. And, and for most people, when they come to university, it is indeed the first time that they've lived away. I mean, it certainly was for me, the first time I'd lived away from home. Um, and, and also coupled with that, you've got the academic uh, pressure that it is completely different from A-levels. So how do you kind of make that transition? Obviously, you, you, you're coming into a different style of learning and you're living away from home for the first time. How, how do you sort of, how do you cope with that really? Um, Hall sort of eases you into living away from home because you have security on camp um, there. You have maintenance who come and fix things for you. You don't have to worry about bills. 
and then first year eases you into university because on most courses the first year doesn't count towards your final degree classification so you've got a year to adjust to the style of learning without it impacting on your mark and you have personal tutors who you can go and talk to and there's a lot of welfare support available on campus as well. So you, you, you really feel that, that, that there are people that you can go to if you're struggling, whether it be academically or, or, or you're looking for pastoral care, does that help out there for yeah. you, should you need it? Yeah, there's um, the student mentor scheme, which is sort of, um, that is included in your first year accommodation fees, and they have a drop-in office, they come out on call if you're having sort of problems with anything, like adjusting with adjusting to your flatmates, living away from home, your course. And then um, the actual welfare centre, they put on essay writing workshops, other academic workshops if you feel you're really struggling with your academics. And um, obviously the University of Birmingham is in Birmingham, the clue's kind of in the title there, um, but um, you know we are a very short train ride from the city centre. Um, what, what, what do you get out of the city, what do you enjoy about living in Birmingham? I enjoy that it's such a big city so there's always something going on. I come from quite a small town at home so it's a nice change to actually have stuff to do. Like there's a number of cinemas, there's Sea Life Centre, there's the Bull Ring which is one of the biggest shopping centres. There's the Mailbox which is sort of a more upmarket shopping centre down by the canal, it's got cocktail bars. There's all the different nightclubs at home, we had about three here, there's a different student night every night of the week. And also there's lots of uh, amenities for students on campus as well, isn't there? Yeah, there's Starbucks, Costa, Spa, hairdressers, opticians, um, letting agent. And, and that's how you found your house, wasn't it, in the second yeah. year? Yeah, you, you went through the guild, didn't you? Yeah, I went through Shack, which is the Guild of Students letting agent, and they found us a house for £55 a week, which is £10 less than what we're paying now. Bargain? Yeah. <laughs> that's not bad, is it? Um, and of course, you know, coming to university, it, it is all about the academ academic, you know, you, you're building yourself up for, for a future career. But there is a, a great social side to it as well, and, and there's lots of clubs, societies, sports clubs that you can get involved in. Just tell us a little bit about what you personally have, have experienced on that side of things. Um, I have been on the committee of the Psychology Society for two years. I was the social secretary, so I was sort of organising all the events and nights out for them. And at the end of last year, we had a nice Psychology Society ball at the Aston Villa Football Club, and that was nice. Um, I've also done volunteering off campus. I volunteer with the Stroke Association, who I'm running a half marathon for, so I'm training for that at the minute. And this summer, I'm going to Ghana, and I've won a work experience bursary to fund that from the university. Fantastic. So this is a, a bursary that the university offers students? Yeah. It's um, to encourage you, they offer bursaries to encourage you to do things that will help your employability. So any placement that's going to help your employability, the university offer funding. So I, I was, that was kind of going to be my next question, really. I mean, how do you feel that the university is preparing you for your future career? And I guess, I guess things like that are really helping. Yeah, not only is it like the sort of top 20 university so a degree from here is going to look fantastic anyway but they really push you to get involved in other stuff so they really want you to sort of volunteer there's support to find part-time work they really just want to help you and, and did you find part-time work here while you while you were here yeah i've been doing um waitressing at a restaurant in harborne which is a town nearby i've also worked for the student mentor scheme in the guild and also done some catering work on campus brilliant brilliant and you know there's, there's students who are watching this feed now all over the world and um, and they're probably having the same you know the same j jitters and nerves that you had before you came here thinking about applying for university what kind of piece of advice would you give them at this stage when they're thinking about where to apply um, I just say make sure you go where you want to go other people will always sort of have opinions about where you should go where they're going but just go where you want to go because you're the one who's got to live there for three years and, and, and what were kind of the defining factors at you that, that, that sort of drew you to Birmingham? Um, well, after I came here, I could really see myself living here. It was the sort of, I really liked the university and it was a sort of a nice distance for me from home because I live in Northamptonshire, which is sort of East Midlands. It's about an hour and a half by car. So it was far enough away that I felt I'd left home, but close enough that I could get back. And talking about nerves and things, I remember for me, I was so nervous the night before, because I, I grew up in York and I moved down to Birmingham, you know, big city, yeah. and I was so nervous that night before, like, will I get on with people, will I make friends? Just tell us about those first few days and, and settling in to university and halls and, and, and experiencing campus life. Um, I was really nervous the night before I came and on the morning, I was like, Mum, I don't want to go anymore. But then I got there and then everyone just met all my housemates and then I sort of forgot about it all and I was like, okay, bye Dad, and he sort of left and then you just 
just sort of spend the day with your flatmates, you go out at night, you just get really close really quickly. I guess it's kind of the, the, the first and last time as an adult really where you get to go somewhere completely new, meet people from all over the world and get to experience things for the first time with, with a group of people, isn't it? Yeah, it's a really amazing experience. It's such a good, so much fun. I wish I could go back and do first year again. And I imagine as well that the friends that you've made now will be will sort of be, be, be your friends. Yeah you know for forever really I think so the friends I made in that first week are the people I chose to live with in second year we're living together again in third year so and what about the um, the, the, the support on campus in terms of uh, the facilities um, the libraries and that kind of things how, how easy are those to, to use and, 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 and get, get, get stuff out of them um, the library is really easy to use and there's help available if you can't they've got they in the first week you're your department will tell you where your books are in the library, they'll offer tours, the library themselves offers tours. There's um, a specific person in the library who works for each department who can help you with searching things up for your department. And the library, it's got very long opening hours, in exam time it's open 24-7, so it's always there. And, and, and things about, you know, if you've come onto campus and you've left your computer at home, is there, is there that kind of stuff available to you as well? Yeah, there's lots of study spaces in the library, also there's the le learning centre with loads of study spaces. A lot of departments have their own computer room, I know the psychology building has a computer room that's pretty much always got computers free. Mm -hmm. And um, um, and you know when you were living in halls and things like that, what kind of things would you would you would you um, do things in the evening with your flatmates then as well? Yeah, we sort of we go to the cinema, we cook meals together, things like that. Oh, so you all cook together when you were? Um, sometimes we'd have one day a week where we all cook together. Right. And and then then the other times you the would other just... times sort of people like to have their own food because people like different things. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah. But there was always there was always plenty of milk in the fridge. Yeah, you know. So, yeah. Because I always remember <laughs> that when I was at university, and it was kind of like, oh, we've run out of milk, and you take it in turn. Because I think again, yeah. that's something else that people worry about before they come to university. That you know everyone's going to be really stingy. But it is there is that kind of I want to say blitz spirit, but it's not it's not it's not quite World War Two. But it but there is that kind of where everyone just gets on with it and just just really mucks in and makes the most out of it, doesn't there? Yeah. In first year, we sort of we all shared sort of toilet roll, washing up liquid. We had a little schedule of who was going to get that, and that worked fine. Second year, when I'm living with sort of people I chose to live with, we literally just all share everything. And and the people that you lived with in the first year, did you live with those in the second and third year? Um, they're people from my block of flats. So people, one person from my first year flat, and then people from sort of next door and above. We were all in the house together this year. Because you were in Pritchett's Park, which yeah. is one of the three accommodation villages, um, and I, and I think people think, oh well, I've, I just get to to know the people in your in your flat but you really get to know everybody in your block and then yeah. even even further afield don't you yeah and then you meet people on your course as well a lot of people go into housing with their course mates in second year and then you meet people through societies and things you meet people through volunteering through work you meet a large variety of people on campus and um and we talked a little bit about um the university you know you're an undergraduate now but you you, you were saying that you want to go on and, and do further study how's how's the the uni helping you you prepare for that um, I've got a really good, my personal tutor, she's helping me find the universities that offer my course, helping me find relevant experience, they're very supportive. And there's also the careers network here, which they're geared towards finding you a job, you can go and talk to them, they check your CV and everything, they help you with applications. And you get access to that when you graduate as well, so it's kind of that continued yeah. development, isn't it? Yeah. And, um, and, and in terms of the, you, the sort of work that you do... Um, you know, you do group work, the seminars, that kind of thing. How, how do you, how do you sort of, how do you plan your your week and stuff around all these kind of things? Um, I just, I have a planner. The university actually send first years out a planner, a right. free one, and then I just say definitely use it because it helps me a lot because I write down lectures and stuff that I have to go to, whatever reading I've got to get done, and then just sort of try and plan everything else around that to make sure I get everything that's got to be done done and then anything else is a bonus. Yeah, I think I definitely need that myself. Well, Gemma, thank you so much for taking time out today to speak to us. Um, and um, thank you for being involved with our open day uh, today. We will be back at 3.45 uh, and we're going to be down in the Vale, which is uh, one of the uh, accommodation villages we just mentioned. It's the largest one on campus. And we'll be meeting the lovely Tom and he'll be um, talking to us about accommodation at the University of Birmingham. Uh, in the meantime, get yourself on the interactive map. We've got the tweets, we've got the Instagrams. They're all coming through and we'll see you live again at 3.45. Thank you.